So, as you know, Boss cleared some eggs the other day. Well, a week ago yesterday. And they're currently being incubated. But one of the incubators isn't as good as the other one. So, I want to change that. And so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a proper incubator. And I'm also going to show you how to do it another way as well. So what you're going to need is a fully submersible aquarium heater. I just got mine for 8 quid off eBay. It is a 50 watt one. It does the job for the other one. And coming in quite slightly more expensive. This was 7 .99 And this is the polystyrene box. Um, the other one was 9 99 and it was from the same smeller but it, seller and it is smaller so I was a bit confused at that but um, anyway that's all you're going to need also you're going to need some water, a tub and some eggs and the make your light. This is an example of what you could use to put your eggs in that is just some vermiculite it should be wet enough so you can squeeze it in your hand and it stays still that it doesn't collapse so these are in case she lays any more clutches from that accidental pregnancy so if she does I've got these ready and the plastic ones ready sorry it is a bit of a mess but that's what I mean I was going to use the S for the eggs but it wasn't very good and I've changed it now to these polystyrene boxes so let's get into it so using a slummy knife or a kitchen knife you just want to cut a little hole up there and that's going to be for the cables. Step two, grab yourself some water and fill that up just enough to cover the water heater. It is on my bed so that's why it's slightly. I'm going to do this properly now. But yeah, that's just to show you what you do. You want it to just be taller than this. This also needs to be fully submersible so you can submerse the top of it and the cable. Just make sure that it is because you don't want one that breaks. So for me it took about three litres of this jug as a litre jug so it took three litres of that and I think it's done now so I'm going to go get the water heater and I'm going to insert it in there. Also make sure it's on with a thermostat and set that to 28 degrees. So then you want to leave it running for a little while. I've also put a little uh, little glass thing in there. Uh, I think that's what you dip in. But yeah, that's going to hold the tub uh, level. So you want to get your eggs now. Here are my eggs. And as you can see, I've got a little thermometer on them. And I'm just going to show you inside. So you will see all the stuff inside the eggs is starting to fall so that's pretty interesting I find and it's the longest I think that my eggs have lasted but yeah so I'm going to get this into the polystyrene container so there you go it's got the thermometer hygrometer in there it does say 24 because it's been a bit out and open so now you're going to want to take the lid of the container and that doesn't want to fully go in there that's just to prevent water droplets from falling onto and damaging the eggs so then you want to get the lid put it on and you're done if yours doesn't stay down I advise putting some tape on but I also leave mine a bit open for what's it called? Humidity reasons and sometimes it gets a little too hot in there. I also turn my thermometer down to 26 degrees because I, I leave it on for a little while because I had to do and do something else. So yeah, I set it up and I came back reverse engineer it for the video. And yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Beta Dragon content.